Hey there everyone, welcome to the YouTube video here on the channel. I'm cracking open the video monster and that can only mean one thing. It's time for a bit of the old train sim world. Hopefully there it is, you can see it now. And I've literally just downloaded the new route. The Bahnstrecke Bremen Oldenburg. Take a trip in the late 2000s and experience of frequent regional passenger and heavy freight services being controlled for classic and modern traction as you traverse through the heart of northern Germany. Electric containers and end wagons await in trains and world. Bahnstrecke Bremen Oldenburg. So just have a look at the timetable. So quite a bit of substitution. We've got Ice Swans, 185s, pretty standard stuff, 187s, G6, Regio Swingers. Uh, other shunters being 185, 155. We're going to go for the 155 because I'll, I'll be honest, you can see I have looked at this and it didn't go well. So I'll go 155 because I'm vaguely confident in driving this one. And this will just be for purposes of a quick little look down the route, just see the art style, see what we think of it. Uh, we'll just do that, that, that. There we go. You'll notice I didn't actually do one of these for the cross city route. Honestly, I'm not that excited for it. So uh, yeah. Right. Um, press the handle goes in and forward. I'm not with PZB or CIFA for a few months. Let's see how this one goes. Headlights would be handy. And that's down here, isn't it, on this one? There we go. As you can see, we are on MT car flats. So the press livery, I quite like. It's really simple, but it, I, I think it, it's simple, but it looks pretty. Sort of DB, but they've just replaced it with press. And then you've got, like I say, the empty layers over here. And if, oh, that's, that's another train leaving us. I'm going to fly over and see what that is. No, I can't. It's gone off the end of the map. Oh, well. So, yeah, let's have a look at the map, actually. So, we're here. Yes, so that'll be Bremen, I think. So we're just going to drive and uh, start talking, as they say. Now, LZB is not simulated. So you can see that the LZB controller there. And now I'm wondering if that's on the other loco as well. And see, this thing's quite a slow little thing. I think you've maxed out at like, um, yeah, so we'll release after this signal. I think they, do, they don't run that fast, actually. We are 155. What? Why was that a thousand hertz magnet? Not safe to release. Limited to 45. Wonderful. Marvellous. Fabulous. What I'll actually do is, I think if I do it this way, I can do it like a UK style tap changer. So the BR155. Um, yes, so originally comes obviously with, well, comes as a DLC for uh, RSN, uh, Rose Ignored, uh, and also swaps into MSB and München Augsburg. So see, it swaps in, in in the DB Red, but obviously this is the new version of it in Press Blue, which actually this reminds me a lot, and I don't know why, of some of the uh, Czech locomotives. I, I think it's the side panning, that air vent, that like this area here reminds me of the the uh, 362 or 162, the Ace and the Pershing.
just gonna. I'm, I'm taking my time around here just because. Uh, well, that's all weird sound, isn't it? I'm just gonna. We'll stay on tap change of five. So I've got to acknowledge this one, I think. I've completely forgotten PZB because I've not driven on it for about six months. No, nope. oh, that wasn't a magnet there, was there? So we're still on the 1,000 hertz magnets. So that's so pick up speed. I think as well, what was helping it me feel tr like a check train is the wheels. With the white uh, things painted on them. So I'm just going to retake a, take a really quick screenshot. Problems, missed it. Oh no, maybe not. There we go, perfect. So yes, um, like I say, it's definitely one of those ones that feels a little bit thingy. And I still can't reach, I'm still in restricted monitoring. I'm going to go selection notch 10. I'm probably going to drive us um, part of the way down the route in this, and then I'll have a look at the 110 as well on the coaches. Because basically, I want to look at the new stock. This is, you know, what they'd call partly build stock. There we go, we're released now. So we can now go to the line speed, whatever that may be. Still 40. Lol. And we'll coast. go 10 notches to get us moving again basically we'll run until we're on the fa on to some faster looking lines oh this is the fast lines fun and then we'll do a couple of stops in a 110 that's you know definitely what i'm most interested in definitely a very long car carrier here yeah look how long that train is wow that's a long train right there <laughs> um Let's just see how many notches this actually has in full. 30 in full. Wow. So I'm going to do some stutters, but apart from that, so overall, so let's look at the art style for the route. I'm really pleased with this. This is, this is a good route in my opinion. Well made. Uh, looks good. You know, the, the litmus test I was fine is if you float up, you know, no one drives a train from this angle, but I can see as far as the eye can see. I see some reused assets, I'm very sure that's actually a building from Chatham, so is that, but apart from that, yeah. It looks the park, got nice Germanic buildings, can see one at the distance, got trees one at the distance, really good. Yeah, I'm happy with that. We'll go up to 30 just for now, just, we'll build the speed up to 100, prove that it can do it, and then uh, change to the 110. And just for interest, for the sake, we'll also go from the other end of the route. But no, overall, really interesting. Like, like I say, it's well, you know, it's the standard sort of version for this train, I guess. This is sort of my eye point usually on if I'm driving. Lol, it's come quite tall. <coughs> uh. 
<laughs> Just 30 minutes at the speed now. I'll turn the FPS on at once. So I'm at 100 FPS. I should really lock myself to 60. I mean, actually, that is really good. I'm sitting up to 120, 130 FPS there. I think it's the the fluctuation that makes that a bit weird. Actually, I have to really quickly lock that just so we get a better experience. So, I want to set max FPS to 60. And you can see we're locked at 60, absolutely fine. That's really cool. You can see as well, when I do this, it sounds less, less wobbly. It wobbles depending on the amount of FPS you have available. So what I'll do is we'll hop out of this and we'll go and have a look at one of the other trains, the 110. It's quite a nice screenshot there from, from Fear Factor. 110. So it substitutes into all these routes. We're going to go obviously for Bahnstrasse, Bremen, Oldenburg. 2008 is when this is set, so gives you an idea. We'll do an afternoon one this time. From Hanover to Nord das Moll. We'll stick Dynamic Weather on this time as well, because Dynamic Weather should work with this, as it is a TSW3 route. Um, yeah, this is sort of the last route that I, well, the last sort of stuff that I heard was being worked upon when I left ETG all those years ago. So it's quite a little bit of a thin one for me, because I, I, well, I knew they had a route on the go. TSG, because it's obviously a TSG, uh, let's unpack this a bit more. So it's obviously a TSG route, um, train from Germany that is. Okay, so yeah, so it's a TSG route and, oh wow, this feels vintage. Um, yes, yeah, so TSG route, and obviously, uh, yeah, you know, they've been working on it for a while, let's just say that much. Wow. I'm going to hop out whilst we board our passengers and just have a look at these coaches. Bit of a finickety spot there. Okay, so not step free access. Climb into your coach. Welcome to the 1980s. Wow. So the second man sit here. Handbrake, which is obviously released, which is good. So there's no tapping the other way on this one. You only got to tap in one direction. What we'll do is we'll just take power and go. Uh, oh, I need to break key, of course, on this one. Um, I'm going to figure the headlights out in a second, but I like this train. It goes sort of bang and pop. You can hear the relays moving, which is really cool. So I'm just trying to figure out my... Uh, no, so that goes off. And then... Ah, oh, master instruments. There you go. So you've got your headlights on now. You've got tail lamps on at the back. Which seems incredibly blurry. There we go. Let's fix it now. Yeah, so you've got the driving car. We'll, 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 literally, we'll, we'll run this as far as Delmanhorst and then go from there. That's cool. So it indicates the... It indicates the number of... Um, it indicates your power draw, basically, based off what's there on that screen. That's quite cool. So we can release PZB. Run. 
So yes, the DB class E10. Let's, I wanna, I wanna read the actual main Wikipedia for this. So the E, the E10 is a Russian locomotive for Deutsche Bundesbahn and Christian N52. Wow, so at the time we're driving this, this loco is 60 odd years old. 60 plus years old. Well, no, 56, so it's nearly 60. It's nearly as old as the HSTs are now. It does definitely have that weird architectural vibe to it. Speed limit is 85, well, how much you can do with that is though. Um, so, the, right, right, so, quick little tech specs. Fitted with C4 PZB, uh, they're fitted with electric brakes as well as loco brakes, uh, for air brakes. Uh, 85 tons of loco weight, which is crazy. Uh, the length of the loco is 16.49 meters. Fits the standard 4.4 four, four foot eight and a half inch gauge. Sorry, I can't speak English today. And they're built between Crook, Henschel, Kraus, my. Oh, got bowled up by a PZB. Oops. So, let the brakes off. I put my tap change at the zero. And what I'll do is I'll actually press brake release to refresh the overcharge. That does look cool. You've got to you've got to admit that looks cool. Design trend, as they say. So go 10 just to build, build us up. So, yeah, like I say, we'll, we'll try and make it as far as Delmanorse just to see what the braking performance is like when you're not in emergency braking. And go from there. Uh, and then we'll have a look in the, in the wagons as well. We'll have a look in the, the cab car after we get to Delmanorse. I will <sighs> do a route loading video for this train. However, it's probably going to be in the new year now because I'm fully, sh or over Christmas, because I'm fully scheduled with videos and, um, like I said, I'm currently doing Christmas stuff. Th this was just something I'm going to put, put out as a Friday video. So it just sort of gives you an idea, really. So, okay, let's feel it the one six five now, so we can just, you know. Oh crap, I overloaded it. This is, I did this before, and I've got no idea how to fix it. Where did we let go? No, I'm not giving me power. Sorry, I'm trying to find. There'll be a fault. It'll be like the uh, things where there's like a fault reset switch. Um. Ah, this is not good. Please permit me to take the power. Safe to release. the signal on. If I 
go up and down. What on earth was that? Okay, okay, no need to close the circuit breaker. Yeah, we're, we're, I, I've made a mess of that. Crap. Actually, this is a really bad place to evacuate, so we're trying to roll to the end of the bridge. Got no idea what I've done to break it here. So what does that do? That horn cut off. That's cool that you can literally see that it's an air pipe and you're just opening a gap in the air pipe. You won't be able to roll it into this station. Uh oh. We'll check that panel on the stuff. Or got PZB, LZB, P down, tail lamp, signal light, cab light, instrument light, run light, best light, heater, ca heater cab, beefer, Gonna roll to a stand at the end of the platform. I can quite categorically state I've broken it. Oh, I'll put my loco over the end just so that we can get as much of the floor plane on as well. Go. There we go. Ooh, this breaks fast. Very fast. Right. Fault finding sessions with Emily. So. I will not read the manual, no. Oh, and the fog's coming in. Well, you can enjoy the fog whilst we thingy ourselves. He's a B, as a B. Brake, wheel slip, sand, M3. <coughs> That allows us to draw cards. There we go. Fixed it. <laughs> Ain't I a clever little driver? Basically, I overloaded the, the system. That's what I did wrong. Something where they got cars coming the way on the 155. So it does work. You do get loaded diagram, which I guess is good. Go 15. Just build that power. Cannot see a thing there, so take care for Delman, Delman Horst. Like I say, we'll get to Delman Horst and then call it a video there.
No, we're not doing this. We're going to close the throttle. Let the, what, let the brakes release. And then take power again. I got, he said, I got uh, Seaford there, and I'm not sure why. So I'm in half power, so I think I'm safe to go full power now. But that's alright. So this fog. I regret leaving Dynamic Weather weather on. I mean it proved it works, but can't see a thing, can you? Great first look video here. I mean you can see in the cab. That is probably the worst fog you can get in the game. Although that does look quite cool actually. Here. Now that we're at speed, we'll eat up miles. We'll be doing about a kilometre every 30 seconds, so, you know, what, about three and a half minutes till we get there? Which is about good timing. Have a little thing here. Well, let's open the windows, open the doors if you want, throw your rubbish out. No time to throw rubbish out, that is littering, that's not what we do here at Northern Princess Productions. Fancy your speed controls for your wife to work. It's a little twirly thing. Kilometers to run. Probably break about one and a half k. You can see we're massively late because I got bowled out by by uh, PZB and then my uh, phone problem. But we're cooking uh, on gas now to recover that time. Yeah, so yeah, we are gonna let's just hit top speed really quickly before we uh, have to break. Power on, 140. There we go. Plus, that isn't a steam achievement. There we go. So back to 140, and we're gonna go hard on the brakes now. We're about 60 percent brake. Wow, that that speed just scrubs straight off. I will leave it in 40 for now.
the, uh, yeah. There we go. So we'll bring it to a stand just before the end of the canopy here. And we'll leave stores on the left. Actually, no, bring it to a stand at the end. Mm, let's do it here. There you have it. Dammenhorst. So, we're on the doors. Like I say, the art style's been really good. I, I'm quite happy with it overall. But the, uh, the quality here is great. The arts have got the lines, they connect up. Quickly walk up onto the train. Anyway, it gave me so I've got the option to step in. Alright, cool. And then... Huh. Interesting. And then... Can't open that door. That door is locked out. Fair enough. We can walk down the train. Oh, wait. This is cool. So I can, in theory, access this. Uh-oh! <laughs> That's great. So, I lift the plate. Lift the plate. I've sandwiched myself between two uncoupled coaches. Help! <laughs> Great. Um, no toilet detailing. Fair enough. So, the fashion. I think these are outfits I've not seen before. That hairstyle I think I've seen. That t-shirt I think I've seen. But that coat is new. I've not seen that before. Um... That hat, it's not working for you, mate. Dovetail fashion. <laughs> um, sorry, I shouldn't do that. Feels strange that they have the handbrake in such a publicly accessible place. I wonder how many of the coaches end up horribly flattered as a result of children being bored. Nope, I'll go have control of it once I get back on board. Sheet, hang on. What's that? Uh oh. So there's some slight issues there, like. I should just climb straight in, you know? But it is what it is. And then you've got like a little guard's office here. And in the back, cab door. Nice. And this cab is very vintage feeling, isn't it? If I sit in the driver's seat. This is vintage, man. Right, I'm going to key out and we'll call it there. But thank you guys so much for watching. I'm, this was, like I say, TSG, I was a bit worried with the... Ooh, that, that's, a cool, that's a cool door animation. Um, I was a bit worried when this route first got announced because I, I thought it was going to be a bit of a... bit of a weird one. But actually, it's been pretty cool. I want to wait to get the door. Uh oh. I'm stuck. You had a good day at the office, mate. Well, anyway, thanks for watching, guys. Um, that still works good, so I can do that, and then I can do that. So, guys, thank you for watching today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, hit the like button. Subscribe to see more from me on a semi regular basis. And we'll see you guys tomorrow for another video.